Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you how to create alerts or indicators for your dashboards. This is really exciting. It's pretty cool. And once you see it, it'll be pretty intuitive. I actually saw this from someone else, and I can't remember for the life of me who it was, so I apologize that I can't give credit where credit is due. This is using some sample uh, Superstore data. And what we're going to look at is we want to look at the segments. And we know how well they're doing in terms of sales. But what we want to understand is which states or how many states are getting too good of a discount on average. Well, I've already created those fields earlier. And you may have something different. Maybe you want to track how many customers are over a certain threshold or salespeople over so much commission, whatever it is. I'm going to bring the discount. Um, what we're actually going to need to do is going to create another field. And I'm going to call this a negative index because quite literally it is going to be negative, in, negative index value. We're going to hit OK. What we're going to be doing within this, this index value is we want it to be negative because we're going to create a dual axis chart and those circles are going to be to the left of the zero. So pull the negative, pull the negative index value up to, to the chart and you can see now that there's three segments, one, two, three. That's what the chart, that's what the index value is going off of. So we actually want it to be off of state. So we need to pull state to the detail so it has something to reference. And come up to negative index, come down to compute using, change that to state. All right, I'm not going to go through and count, but you should have 50 boxes here, or actually 48, 47, 46, however many states they actually sold to. We're now going to change this to a circle or another um, shape because we want those to be the indicators. And previously I created a field that indicates whether this is somebody that we want visibility on. So I'm gonna bring that over to color. Now the color legend shows up, but we don't see the bars, we don't see any of the circles here. What we need to do is we actually need right click under the index, I mean under the color card. There's a field here called hide. This is what we want to do. If we do exclude, you're actually going to filter the data out of your worksheet and your sales value will go down. I'll show you that right here. It's 1.2 million. Exclude goes down to 350,000. So what we want to do is we want to actually hide it. And if you hide it down here, you can't hide it down here because it's not an option. So you go to the color legend, you're gonna hide. Spent way too much time talking about that. Now we're going to do, we're gonna right click, we're gonna dual axis, and we need to change this sales back to the bar. Okay, now we got a bar. And if you wanted to stop here, that would be great. I personally don't like the the circles being quite so spaced out. I'd like to have these bars a lot larger. And this is where you're going to need to come in with the negative index. We're going to actually synchronize the values. Problem is, remember, these are 100 to 1,000. The index, index value is 1 to 50 at the most. So we're going to come and we're going to edit. And they're all top, on top of each other. So we're going to times, um, that's 10,000. See, for those of you, there you go. Apply. And that's looking much better. Let me try 12,000. And unfortunately, I don't have a great way of shortcut on this yet. So that's giving you enough space for our purposes here. And now you've got a line chart, a bar chart that's got some indicators. You can tell which 
segment is giving the most discounts. If you wanted to get a little more specific, you bring the average discount. This is what I use to calculate. Change the discount to the average. And now you've got the average discount. You can do some formatting. What I am going to do here is I don't want to show, don't want to show that obviously, so I'm going to get rid of this. I don't really want to show this negative 200,000 down here. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to hide the hide the header, but we still want that information. So we're going to bring the sales, total sales to the label. And now we have the data and we have the circles here. Well, the other thing I'm going to do, there's a lot of white space here, so I need to show the header again. We're going to come and we're going to actually edit the axis, and we're going to change it to maybe 200,000. Fixed start, negative 200. Oh, I thought I'd fix that. I thought I did. Okay, there we go. And now we can hide it. Now you can also go through here and do some formatting to clean it up. This is always a little bit frustrating for me. You need to look at the borders here for these panes. These are the dividers, row divider, pane. There you go, go to column, column divider, pane. And then we also want to get rid of, where's the grid lines? We don't need the grid lines, I don't want those. Now the grid lines are gone. And you can come in here, of course, and change the size to something that's a little more. There you go, now you've got some indicators. Okay, so now I've resized it. Actually, what you can do is you can try and mess around with it, but it's easier to come here with the size. Now the bars look a little bit offset or too big. There you go. And we can make this. There you go. Now you've got a sales chart and you have an idea of who is giving the most who's getting the most discount, the big discounts.